Joined at the podium by uh, student athletes from Clemson. Clemson. As the Tigers now 22 and 11 in advance of tomorrow's game here again at 510 locally against Baylor. From my left, uh, joining us today are senior guard Chase Hunter, Joseph Gerard III, also a graduate guard, and then to the far left, PJ Hall, senior forward. Uh, we will open it up for questions. If you uh, raise your hand, we'll get a microphone to you. Give your name and affiliation. Uh, also, if you're in the Zoom, you can uh, raise a question or you can ask a question by hitting the raise hand function and we'll get those in as well. We'll start guys uh, to our back left. Um, Beth Hull from Fox Carolina in Greenville. A uh, little off topic of the NCAA tournament, but wanted to ask each of you about uh, Preston and what he's brought as your guys' strength coach this year and having him back at Clemson and, and just what he's provided for you guys. We'll let PJ start. Uh, yeah, Preston Green. Um, you know, he, he started off with Coach Brownell and early on in his time at Clemson and then uh, headed out to Florida with Billy Donovan. He's been to a handful of Final Fours, national championships, and he's, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous kind of stuff he's able to do uh, to our physiques and our conditioning and stuff. It's really incredible stuff. I'd say what's funny, like, Justin McClellan was his uh, guy under him at Florida, and so with the women's team, and so he came to Clemson, and the guys who were here before Preston were always like, PJ, you know, you were built by J-Mac and fine-tuned by Preston. Uh, that's what they kind of jab at J-Mac about. So he's, uh, he's incredible, though, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Preston's done a lot, especially for me personally, uh, just trying to change the way that, you know, my conditioning is. I'm um, obviously playing a different system uh, from Syracuse to Clemson. It's a lot different playing zone and man uh, for 40 minutes. So um, he's done a lot for me, you know, my body-wise, just shaping my body and, uh, you know, uh, getting me in better condition and better shape to, you know, withstand a 35-game uh, season plus. So uh, Preston's unbelievable and obviously has a lot of connections, a lot of People trust him, and uh, he's pretty noteworthy in the uh, industry. Yeah, I think he's just brought a different level of experience for us. Um, you know, he's he's an older guy, a guy with a lot of experience, like I said. And, you know, he took us through a, a very grueling summer. You know, we had uh, some hard conditioning. And um, he's just been a guy that speaks up. You know, he speaks up for us, and uh, he makes sure that we're good, our bodies are good. And, um, you know, I'm very thankful of Preston. And, um yeah, like they've said, he's a great guy and um, just a great guy to be around. And, you know, we're, we're lucky to have him. Going on the aisle here. Hey, PJ, it's Grayson from IntegraIllustrated.com. Just wanted to get your opinion on R.J. Godfrey's performance yesterday coming in with you and Shefflin in foul trouble. What has his development been like over the course of the season? And to see it now in a postseason setting, just can you describe that for us? Yeah, I mean, it's incredible to see him kind of blossom right there in yesterday's game. It's, uh, you know, younger guys especially who haven't played any postseason games, it's uh, – you never know how things are going to shape up when they're out there. But Arj is a very free-minded guy. He's kind of like me in that way, just like he's going to go out there and put it out on the table. And uh, he did just that. He went out there and gave us a huge spark, had a lot of incredible rebounds. We were able to push it up the floor and get some advantages and stuff. And he uh, he was huge for us, man. And not only that, like, you know, having some size, rebounding, but also just defensively. He's such a presence. And then, you know, obviously he has some explosive things around the basket. So he's a special guy to be able to come in off the bench and give us a huge spark at all times. Others for student athletes will stay in the same spot. Uh, for all three of you, Baylor is one of the best shooting teams in the nation. Very similar to New Mexico, they shoot a lot. Um, but how do you guys lock them down like you did New Mexico? Chase, we'll let you start this one. Yeah, I think it's just coming out again with that same competitive spirit, competitive fight, and um, you know, making sure that you know as guards we're getting over ball screens and you know making sure we have high hands and. Just limiting, limiting, limiting their threes, and um, you know, just making things hard for them, and uh, yeah, then we'll be successful. Yeah, I think uh, the biggest thing is trying to make sure that they're not really rhythm threes. Um, you know, try and keep them on the move a little bit. Um, like Chase said, get over some screens, um, and you know, off the ball, just kind of be head turn at all times because they have you know three, four, sometimes five guys on the court who can shoot a three. So, um, I mean, they've always had a great offense and. Uh, it's going to be a tough task for us, but I think if, uh, like I said, we just stay locked in, focused on where our guys are at, and uh, knowing personnel will be all right. Uh, yeah, uh, I think Joe hit it on the head. You know, the rhythm threes is a big, big key point, making sure that whenever we are, if we, because I mean, we're going to give up a couple threes, that's how it's going to go, that, you know, we're not giving up easy step in rhythm threes. That's the biggest thing, kind of keep them on that rhythm and be a little more disruptive, yeah. 
This is uh, just to your guys, right? Teresa Walker, the Associated Press. Uh, what's the challenge now that you've got a win under your belt in this event, and sitting out there as a Sweet 16 berth? How do you? How tough is it to stay focused? And does playing Baylor, a team that has a recent national championship, maybe help keep you focused in this task? Who wants that? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, once you get in March, it's it's you kind of got to wipe the slate, whether. You, uh, um, no matter who you're playing. So after a New, Me New Mexico game where, you know, not a lot of people picked us to win, um, we were really on edge, had a lot of competitive spirit and fire, um, you kind of got to wipe it away um, and realize that there's a new 40 minutes ahead of you, um, and especially against a team like Bear, like you said, who has had so much success in March recently. Um, you got to be focused. Uh, but at the same time, stay, stay doing what you did all year. Um, you know, have that competitive spirit, have that edge um, that we just gained back hopefully this past week, you know, leading up to these games. Um, and just, like I said, stay together um, and make sure that, you know, you're focused for, for, for a whole 40 minutes. Others? Um, oh, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, no, I was saying, yeah, along the same lines. It's, it's you know, wiping the slate clean and making sure that um, you, you know that there's a new task at hand. You know, what you've done in the past is not going to affect the future, so make sure you're ready for the next game. Yeah. Anything to add on that one, Chase? I'm all good. I'm all good. <laughs> <laughs> Other questions for student-athletes? All right, see you now. We'll uh, dismiss you guys. Thank, Thank you. Good you, luck Steve. tomorrow. Yes,